Hi, pastors and leaders. Brave. That's a word we want to try to redefine this year during OYC. To me, it seems like that word brave has been used in so many different ways to define so many different people that it's lost its true meaning. 1 Corinthians chapter 16, verse 13 tells us that we're to be on our guard, that we're to remain strong in the faith, and that we're to be brave. And biblical bravery is not about striving, rather it's about abiding. It's God who makes us brave. It's Jesus who gives us the courage to fight and to speak out against injustice and stand up for righteousness. It's His Holy Spirit that empowers us and gives us the ability to face our fears and to be His witness even unto death. Now, bravery is not about my cause. It's about standing up for the cause of Jesus Christ. To me, the best person that demonstrated bravery is obviously Jesus Christ when he chose to lay down his life for his friends. And that's what OYC is going to be about this year. So this is what you need to know. The dates are October 8, 9, and 10. The cost hasn't changed from last year. Our guests this year are Alan Griffin, Sarah Reeves, and new to Oregon, Heath Adamson. We also have a new location. We're going to be at the Salem Armory Auditorium. Uh, we have a new schedule. We have uh, a new afternoon session that we're adding in. On Friday, that's going to be an interactive session. We are blessed to have the Human Right Tour stopping by OYC. Your kids are going to want to be a part of that. That service is going to be powerful. So what I want to encourage you today is go to the website, OregonAG.org, and download the registration packets the promo materials, start hanging up those posters, show those promo videos to your church and to your youth group, start signing kids up, and get as many students as you possibly can to OYC 15 here in Salem. I am praying for souls to be saved and lives to be transformed, and I hope you'll pray with me for that, and I hope to see you in Salem.